Hey, how you doing? It's Yobo. Life according to Yobo, day 104. That's right, I said 104. Still here. From January 1st up to mid-April, I promise you, I have not dealt with no mess, no stress, and no BS. I have showed you how to do the same thing. So look, you go to my website, I got all my books on sale, just $5. I ain't making no money off these books, because remember what I told you, when you believe in something, you do it for free. So all my books, go to yobooproductions.com, honey, stock up $5, get one for you, and get one for somebody else. Spread the message about mess, stress, and BS, and being able to live your life without any of those. Okay? All these videos on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. And, as I said, go to the website, yobooproductions.com. The books will only be on sale for a week, so don't mess around, okay? Don't fool around miss out. We're talking about understanding the process. The process. As I said on yesterday, in the real world, there is a process for everything. In church, somebody tell you, you just believe it and receive it. That, that's, church is the only place you're going to hear that. You won't hear that anywhere. You're not going to hear that at Harvard. You won't hear that at UCLA. You won't even hear that at Compton College. Honey, you're going to have to get up, take your butt to school, do some homework, do some studying, pass some exams. Even if you at Compton College, you can't name, name and claim nothing. You're going to have to do some work. There's a process to everything. To better understand the process, I'm going to read some words. This is what I want you to do. Get a paper and pencil, and I want you to write the words that make reference to the passage of time, or just go order your book and do this page yourself. Let me tell you what page it is. It's going to be page 31 in your book, okay? When I say the word, I got a little head itching right here. It's got cold in this hospital. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Reading and cold and itching. Oh, I forgot I'm on location, honey. I ain't got time to be playing. Process, process, process. When used as a noun, a systematic series of actions. Did I say systematic? Show sure enough. System. Got to be in order. A systematic series of actions directed to some end. Remember what I said? The process is taking us toward the goal, the vision. The example they use is to devise a process for homogenizing milk. Let's just take that. Let's think about the farmer going out. He's got his bucket and there's his cow. He grabs the udders. You know how they, you see the farmer doing it? He gets a bucket full of milk. Once the bucket is full, takes that bucket on right on over to your house. And you get your bucket and you get you a bowl of Captain Crunch and you pour that cow, that fresh cow milk right over your Captain Crunch. Sit down on Saturday morning, put your feet back, just wrap back, and you're going to watch cartoons all day. Now, that's not what, that's not milk. You would say, I don't want that. Because when the milk comes from the cow, before it gets to the market, it has to go through a process. Otherwise, you don't want it. Number two. A continuous action, operation, or series of changes taking place in a definite manner. Contin a continuous action. When you're on the journey, when you're pursuing the vision, it has to be continuous. You can't stop and turn around. Continuous. The example is the process of decay. When a good tooth turns into a rotten tooth, that is a continuous action. You don't have a good tooth today, and then you go to the doctor this time next month, and he says, you need a filling. That was a continuous act action that took place over time. In the law, how was process used in the law? The summons, mandate, or writ by which a defendant or thing is brought before court for litigation. I know y'all are familiar with process, as in 
process server. Y'all, y'all, y'all know about the process server. Some of y'all done opened up the door and the process server was standing right there. Some of y'all been at work and the process server showed up like I was. I'm like, I know this process server I ain't came to my job. So what do you do when everybody's standing around and the process server's there? You know, with me, I'm playing off. All right, then. Yeah, in case somebody's looking like, is that a process server? But they gonna see me laughing. All right, then. Okay, yeah. All right. Tell your mama I said hi. Okay. All right, then. I'm gonna see y'all. Come over for Thanksgiving dinner. All right, then. Love you. Because I got to play it off. Let everybody know that the process server just came to my job. Also used in law, the whole course of the proceedings in an action or law. The whole course. This is called the process in photography. Photomechanical or photo engraving methods collectively. I don't know what all that means, but what I do remember is taking pictures with the camera and taking the film to be developed, it had to go through the process. You could not skip one step in that process. If you did, you ain't gonna have no wedding pictures. When you take your pictures with your camera and that film has to be developed and you try to take a shortcut, you ain't gonna have no baby pictures to show when you go back to work. There has got to be a process. Number five in biology, a natural outgrowth outgrowth, projection, or appendage, such as a process of a bone, right on my husband's elbow, right about here. He's got a little growth coming out of the bone. That took time. That just didn't happen in one day. Number seven, the action of going forward or going on. On this journey, you got to go forward. You got to go on. And if I don't thank the Lord for nothing else, I thank God that I continue to go forward. Even some days I may have stood still. Some days I didn't move forward. I went through a period of about three years where I made no progress. But I bet you I didn't stop and turn around. I didn't even look back over my sh I didn't even look back over my shoulder. I kept telling myself, yo, boy, you better than that. You better than that. I kept telling myself I had to keep going on. That's number six. Go forward, baby. Go on. Number seven, the condition of being carried on. You got to carry on. When you're on this journey, we ain't got time for no excuses. Look at here. Let me show y'all something. I'm in the hospital right now. Shooting this video, I got to carry on. I've got a trash can sitting on the desk. Do you see that? Here go trash can upside down because I used to keep my camera like this. And then my sister said, no, you need to elevate it. You have to look in it because people want to see your eyes. So there's nothing in this room. Let me show you around the room. See? Everything else in here is too low. There's nothing in here. These are some nice rooms in this hospital. So since I need to elevate it, let me get my thumb out the way. Only thing in here I could use was the trash can. Perfect height. So then I put my phone here, but my phone kept falling over. So I went, I got this pack of gloves, the latex gloves, put it right there, took the phone, positioned it there. Okay, hold it right in place. What number was that? Number seven. Carry, you got to carry on. You got to figure out a way to make it work. And when you're figuring out a way to make it work, don't worry about money. Everything you need will already be there. It won't cost you a dime. Number eight, a course or lapse as, of, as in time. Ooh, this course of time, that's the process. And number seven, oh, conk, <laughs> the process on your hair. Now, you know what? That's one process that you can get in a matter of minutes. The process for the beauty shop, that's the only one you're going to get in a matter of hours. Everything else, it's going to take time, baby. Well, I appreciate y'all coming today. Listen, you need to go to yobooproductions.com, get your books. They're only $5 for one week. Catch these videos on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitter. Come on back tomorrow for day 105 of Life According to Yobo. See y'all later. Be good.